Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. With the Midjourney community growing so quickly, I thought it would be useful to share with you three tips and tricks which will take your Midjourney Discord experience from hectic to zen. And you'll be able to create in peace just like this cat. Hopefully that wasn't too lame. Anyway, in this video we'll cover adding Midjourney to your own Discord server, to avoid the noise of Midjourney's official server and the newbie channels, how to organize your projects within your own server that would allow you to compartmentalize different images you're working on, and finally, how to import your existing jobs to your new server even if those jobs were created in the past and in separate servers. Let us begin with our first mid-journey workflow tip, and that is how to add the mid-journey bot to your own Discord server. If you're still creating images in Midjourney's official newbie channels like this one, you're probably experiencing quite a lot of difficulty tracking your work due to the number of users creating images at the same time as you. But there is a better way. You can create your own server and create in there by yourself or with your friends. To do that, all you have to do is click on the plus sign here on the top left, select create my own server, for me and my friends or for club community doesn't matter but in this case we'll do for me and my friends pick a name of the server in this case i'll just stick with cyan katana's server you can add a display image click create and now you have your own server the next step is to add the midjourney bot to our server as you can see i'm currently the only user in my server and i need to invite midjourney to do that i'll go back to the midjourney discord server and on the right here where you see all the users, keep in mind that if the users are hidden, you just click show members list and that's going to make everyone appear. Click on Midjourney bot, which is the official Midjourney bot, and click add to server. Select which server you want to invite it to, in this case it's Cyan Katana server. Click continue. It's going to ask for you to authorize access to all of these things, which you need to do in order for, for it to be able to create images. So click authorize. It's going to ask you to do a quick capture. We need to click each image containing a fish jumping over the water. Why are these so complicated? I think that's it. Perfect, now we have it authorized. So when you go back to the server, now you're going to see that we have both Cyan Katana and the Midjourney bot. At this point, you're able to start generating images. Just type slash and that will show you all the commands Midjourney has that are now offered in your private server as well. So let's go for imagine, type dog, hit enter and if this is the first time generating an image or generating an image in this server at least, just accept the terms of service and then that's going to pop up with these instructions and start generating the image for you. Here we have it, our first image generated with Midjourney on our own private server. And at this point, I'm going to switch back to my main Discord account to demonstrate tips two and three. The second Midjourney workflow tip is organizing your projects within your server in order to compartmentalize different images you're working on. So for example, if you were to just start generating images under general, after a while general is going to be very messy because you're going to have many images, variations, upscales, so on and so forth. So if you're working on multiple images, that's really going to make everything one big mess and you won't be able to find what you're looking for. So the way that I have approached this issue is by creating separate text channels within my Discord server. As you saw, when you first create your Discord server, you're going to have only the general text channel. In order to create more channels, you just click on the plus over here and name it whatever image you're creating. So let's say if you're working on an image of a dog, just create dog or anything that will make you understand and remember what you might find inside of that particular channel. And when you're doing an image of a dog, just come here and type dog and that's going to keep it separate. So you can see that in my case, I have, for example, when I was working for this video, I was generating the thumbnail, I created this meditating cat. So I had an own channel for it. I'm working on separate channels for different images, which are going to be featured in future videos. And this allows me to really know where I can find everything. And when I need it, I can go and develop it further. 
you can organize your projects even further by creating different categories. And a category is just a collection of channels. So in this case, I have my work in progress category, which I can close. I have my YouTube category, which I can close. And I can create a new category by right clicking here on the empty space and creating a category. Just name it whatever you want. Let's say dog again create category and now you have your own category that you can create dog one a channel in it so now we have a category called dog with dog one inside of it the third and final tip we're going to be looking at is how to import work that you have already created in in the past in separate servers and introduce that into your new server so you're able to arrange it within the different categories and channels and continue developing it whenever you want to in order to do that we need to go to the mid-journey website this is my profile and these are some images that i've created in the past i'm going to take this dog image i'm going to open it and if you just scroll down a little bit you see the three dots you click on the three dots and that's going to give you a few different options one of them being copy job id you just click on copy job id you go back to your discord server you type slash show and that's going to say that it requires a job id you simply copy paste the id and you click enter that's going to take a second and it's going to bring up our image from the past and we will be able to continue developing it as if we started doing it on this server originally. As you can see, you can make variations. Once those variations are ready, you can upscale them. And that's how you can take every single piece of work that you have done in the past and the ones that you want to continue working on, you can use the job IDs to introduce them into your own Discord server and develop them further. I hope all of this was useful. If so, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.